Hi everyone, my name is Jeroen Herzberger, three-time Olympian and Osaka athlete. Today, I'm going to try and help you choose what stick is right for you. How are we going to do it? We're going to look at this stick, we're going to see how does it hit, how does it pass, how does it dribble and how does it flick. Today, we're going to be looking at the low bow, so let's go. Alright, so what do we need to know about the low bow? Some specifications. 98% carbon, 1% Kevlar and 1% aramid and it has a maximum bow point of 24 millimeters which lies about 200 millimeters from the head of the stick. So it's quite low, it's quite curvy and some people might get a little bit um, intimidated by the specifications and it looks quite different than other sticks but don't you worry this is an all-round stick and in the modern game of hockey I think this stick is ideal for the all-round player. So um, let's try it out. All right, so test number one, how does it dribble? I like the way it dribbles, why? Because, because of the low bow and the curve of the stick, you don't have to go as far to try and get the ball back. So when you go left, you don't have to turn the stick as far to go back, so you can stay a little bit upright and you can still go left and right quite easily. And it kind of feels like the ball sticks to the, to the stick and that it stays comfortably within control. So I like the way this stick dribbles and um, yeah. Especially for 3D skills, I like it as well. So, all in all, nice dribbling stick. All right, so, how does it hit? Um, what I really like about this stick is that because of the low bow, it really feels like you're hitting with a hammer. So, the weight is near the bottom of the stick, um, and you get nice contact and the ball just flies off. And also what I like about this stick is because of the low bow and at the bottom the stick uh, opening a little bit makes it a little bit more lofted is that when you hit the ball it, it tends to fly off nicely and you get nice high shots. So if you're looking for high shots then this is your stick I think. When it comes to the reverse I think it has that 1% aramid blade reinforcement. I think if you get nice contact it flies off. I do have to say with the low bow the reverse is the biggest challenge because, because of the, the funky shape. It's hard to get under the ball sometimes, so you need to focus on getting the right contact. Uh, so that can be difficult sometimes. But all in all, this stick shoots pretty nicely. All right, so third question, how does it flick? I have to say, this stick was made for flicking. The low bow, um, is exactly what you want when you're flicking a ball. Why? Because it feels like the ball just sticks to the bottom of the stick and also you can get such an easy release because of the shape of the stick. So if you're into drag flicking, um, then I think this is the stick for you. Uh, you don't have to get too low, the ball comes off nicely, it's in control and it just feels like you get extra power when it comes off the stick. So the low bow for flicking, happy marriage. So, the final part, how does it pass? I have to say, two things are really interesting. First of all, the push pass is really nice and easy. Because of the low bow, the ball tends to stay in the pocket quite nicely. And you can, using your wrists, get a lot of power and a lot of fake and push the ball. So the push pass is, is, is quite easy and nice. Second of all, is that the disguise pass is something which really works well with the low bow. So you aim right and you pass left. Because of the low bow, you can flip your wrists at the last moment and really get a nice disguise pass all over the field. So all in all, a great passing stick. All right guys, so um, just all in all the low bow. Um, I have to say, it's, it's a really nice stick and I'm not allowed to say, but I actually use this one myself, so I have it at home. Um, and I have to say, the Lobo, if you're into drag flicking, if you're into long passing, if you're into quick dribbling and 3D skills, this is a really good stick. I like the way it flicks, I like the way it passes, I like the way it dribbles, and I really like the way it hits. So um, if you want more information about the Lobo, go to the website, you can see all the specifications and where to buy it. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked that video and uh, good luck choosing a stick and see you next time. Bye bye.